hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jinder Lagito Malingi or just for me, Teacher Jinder. A licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga Tagalog math tutorial mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito po ay tulong at dedikasyon para sa mga pagulang, sa mga magtuturo at lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong video na ipapalabas. Stay tuned! Ngayong hapon, muli ako po si Stature GM. Ngayong hapon, tatalakayan po natin na mula sa grade 9, tungkol po ito sa multiplication of radicals. But bago ang lahat, ibigay mo natin ang definition ng multiplication of radicals. Let's start! So, multiplication of radicals, meron po siyang dalawang ways kung paano natin mag-solve. Sa una, ibigay ko ang unang ways, multiplying radicals of the same order or index. So, meron po tayong uh, formula for that. So, you have um, the nth root of A times the nth root of B equals the nth root of A and B. Alright, nakuha. Okay, ang pangalawang ways in multiplying radicals with different indices but same radicals. Anong ibig sabihin nun? If the radicals, if the radicand rather are the same but different indices, you have to change them into similar index. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang ating radicals ay pariho, pero hindi sila parihas ng indices, so, ano ang dapat natin gawin? It is natin into similar indices para magiging same ang ating index. Okay, so take note that binomials can be multiplied using distributive property or applying the rule of special products of algebraic expressions or binomials. So, ibig sabihin, binomials can be multiplied using distributive property. So, um, gawin natin distributive property at i-apply natin ang role of special products sa so, algebraic expression para maka-solve tayo nito ng multiplication of radicals. Okay, magbigay ako ng halimbawa para mas maliwanagan kayo or maintindihan nyo kung paano ba ito isasolve ang multiplication of radicals. Okay, example number one. Have the cube root of the cube root of 3 times the cube root of 9. Okay, next. Is it our index is similar? Yes, they are the same. So, we're going to multiply directly. So, we have... So, copy ang ating third root. Ayan. So, and then, multiply 3 times 9. Alright, so, cube root of 3 times 9, that is 3 times 9, we have 20... Seven. Okay. The cube root of 27 is what? So, the cube root of 27 is? That is? Cube root of 27, that is 3. Why 3? Kasi 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3, that is 9. Yan. 9 times 3, that is 27. Alright. So, ang ating answer is 3. Nakuha. Okay, example number two. We have square root of 10 times square root of 2. Okay, so what will you do? So multiply. So square root of, kasi ang ating index is, we are the same index. So we have 10 times 2. Okay, and we have 10 times 2, we have 20. And okay, next is we're going to factor. Ano ang magiging factor ng square root of 20 na mayroong square number. Okay, let's say we have 4 and 5. Kasi 4 times 5, that is 20. Okay, the square root of 4, that is what? Square root of 4, that is 2. Okay, 2 and remain the square root of 5. Nakuha. Is it our final answer? Yes, this is the final answer. I guess? Okay, number 3. Okay, so we have 4 square root of 15 
times square root of 6 plus square root of 5. So, ano ang role natin gagamitin, di ba? Uh, as what I told you earlier that we're going to apply the distributive property or applying the rule of special products of algebraic expression. So now we're going to what? Distribute. Okay, so we have equal 4 square root of 15 times this one times square root of 6. Okay, I guess. Square root of 6 plus okay, plus 4 square root of 15 times we have square root of 5 okay next we're going to what we're going to multiply okay so we have 4 so 15 times 6 that is 15 times 6 that is square root of 90 plus then 4 15 times 5 that is 70 5. Okay, next. Kunin natin ang what? Kunin natin ang factor. So, we have 4 factors sa square root of 90. We have magiging, meron tayong 9 and 10. Kasi 9 times 10, that is 90. And the 9, that is a perfect square. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, next. We have 4 square root of 75. Anong factor natin dyan? So, we have, meron tayong what? Meron tayong 25 times what? 25 times 3. Kasi 25 times 3 is 75. And the 25, that is a perfect square. Kasi 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, next we have 4. Square root of 9, that is 3. Ilabas natin na 3. And uh, iwan natin ang square root of 10. Plus, we have 4. Square root of 25, that is 5. So, ilabas natin 5. And remaining the square root of 3. Next is, multiply natin. 4 times 3, that is 12. Square root of 10 plus 4 times 5, that is 20. Square root of 3. Alright. So, is it the final answer? Yes. This is our final answer. Did you get it? Okay. Let's proceed to number 4. Okay. Number 5. We have 2 square root of 4 and times square root of 8 minus 6 square root of 10. Okay, what will you do first? We're going to what? We're going to apply the distributive property. Alright, so we have equal 2 square root of 4 and multiply natin dito. So we have times square root of 8. Next minus kasi minus so we have uh, 2 square root of 4 and it times natin dito ng operation so 6 square root of 10 na gets next is we're going to what so multiply so 2 square root of 4 times 8 that is what that is 32 okay minus 2 times 6 that is I multiply natin 2 times 6 kasi ang 2 times 1 ayan, the visible by 1 that is 2 times 1 that is 2 so pwede natin hindi na ilagay dyan ha? ok so 2 times 6 that is 12 right ok that is 12 okay, 12 and square root of 4 times 10 that is 40 next what will you do so we're going to factor so we're going to factor get the factor so, 32. Anong factor na 32? Na may square. Na may perfect square number. So, we have 16 and 2. 16 times 2, that is 32. And 16, that is a perfect square kasi 4 times 4, that is 16. Alright, next is minus 12. Ayan. Pa factor ng 40, that is what? Anong factor ng 40? Na mayroon siyang, mayroon siyang perfect square. So, we have 4 times 10. 4 times 10, that is 40. And 4, it is a perfect square. Kasi 2 times 2, that is 4. Okay, next is we're going to uh, simplify. So, 2 square root of 16, that is 4. Dayon, remaining square root of 2. Minus 12 square root of 4, that is 
to ayan and copy natin remaining as square root of 10 alright okay next multiply natin so 2 times 4 that is 8 square root of 2 minus 12 times 2 that is 24 square root of 10 okay next is is it our final answer is it our final answer all right so this is our final answer nakuha nakuha okay let's proceed to the last number number six okay number six a4 square root of 8 times 2 square root of 10 minus 4 square root of 12. Okay, we have again to apply the distributive property. So 4, 4 square root of 8 times 2 square root of 10 minus. Alright, so 4 square root of 8 times and we have 4 square root of 12. Okay, next is we have rigging to multiply. So 4 times 2, that is 8 square root of 8 times 10, that is 80. Minus 4 times 4, that is 16. This one, 4 times 4, that is 16. And square root of 8 times 12, that is 8 times 12, that is what? 96. Next, what will you do? Factor. So 8 square root of, ano factor natin sa 80 na may wrong perfect square? So we have 16 and 5. 16 times 5, that is 80. Kasi ang 16, that is a perfect square. Kasi 4 times 4, that is 16. Alright. Minus 16. Ayan. The square root of factor of 96 na mayroong perfect square. So, if it's number siyang, what? 16 times 6, that is 96. Alright. Next is we're going to, what? Get the uh, square root. So, 8 square root of 16, that is 4. Ilabas natin 4. And remaining the square root of 5. Minus 16 Ilabas natin yung square root of 16, that is 4. Ilabas natin. Alright, remaining square root of 6. Reply 8 times 4, that is 32. Square root of 5 minus 16 times 4, that is 64. 64 square root of 6. Is it the final answer? Yes, this is our final answer, which is 32 square root of 5 minus 64 square root of 5. 6, rather. And that's all for today. At sana meron kayong natutunan sa ating discussion sa araw na ito. And hanggang sa susunod na higayon, see you to my next vlog. Bye-bye! I'm back! Ayan! Kung nakatulong po sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. It's me again, Teacher GM. Laging nagsasabi, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti para sa may magandang kinabukasan. See you to my next vlog. God bless and goodbye!